Hi there. Veronica was sitting by her window and watching the sunset. She asked her mother about where the sun goes after it sets. To this, her mother told her that the sun doesn't move at all. It is the earth which is moving around the sun. Since we are moving along with the earth, we cannot differentiate its motion and we feel that the sky moves. This experience is like our experience in a moving vehicle. We feel that the trees are moving behind us. But in reality, it is us along with the vehicle who moves forward. Veronica's mother also told her that in reality, we do not see the sunrise and sunsets at the same time they happen. This happens due to the phenomenon of refraction or bending of light. Earth is a spherical shape. So from any point on the earth, the farthest you can see is called the horizon. We see things when they are at or above the horizon. When the sun appears to move above the horizon, we say it is rising. And when it appears to move below the horizon, we say that the sun is setting. The sun is far away from us and there is a vacuum between the earth and the sun. We have an envelope of air and other gases for a few hundred kilometers around the earth. When the sunlight travels from vacuum to this envelope of air, it undergoes refraction or bending because of a change in the medium. Now, if we trace back the source of this bent light ray, they seem to appear from a higher position than the actual position of the sun. That is why the sun appears to have risen even though it hasn't. Something similar happens during the sunset. The rays of light bend at the atmosphere and if the rays are back traced, the sun appears to be present above the horizon even after it has set. Thus, refraction or bending of light causes us to see an early sunrise and a delayed sunset. It was calculated that we see the sunrise two minutes early and the sunset two minutes later than its actual occurrence. Refraction or bending of light also causes the sun to appear squashed during the sunrise and sunset. Let us take the scenario where the sun is setting. The rays of light from the top of the sun bend at the atmosphere vacuum boundary. The rays of light from the bottom part of the sun bend, but they bend a little more than compared to those from the top. Thus, the shift in the part at the bottom of the sun is more than compared to the top part, which causes it to appear squashed. Veronica sure learned quite a lot from the sunset. We hope you guys did too. That's all for this video.